In this video we will show you how to open and close outline shapes, how to break big objects into smaller ones and how to join smaller objects into a bigger one. Let's see how it works. These are two independent objects. By combining them you can handle them as one. Now that the objects are combined, the outlines have become one to show that they belong to the same object, but if you look closely, the space between them and the jump stitch remains. If we want these two objects to look like one, we need to join these nodes. Select both nodes, right click and from the appearing menu use the Join Nodes option. Now there is no space between the initial two objects. The two objects have become one, but this is not a closed object. To make it a closed object you need to close the outline. To do so you need to right click on any of the Start or End nodes and from the appearing menu use the Close Outline option. Using this option the ending node gets connected to the starting one with a line and the shape is now a closed one. There are also cases where you need to break one object's curve into subcurves and possibly create smaller objects. In that case you need to open the outline. Right click on a node and use the split outline option. The outline is now open and the stitches are gone. By opening at the second point you can split the outline into more parts. Now you may break this into two objects. If you close the outline of each sub-object you can create two separate fill objects. 